Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope that you had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Um, we are going to begin um, with a story right out of the Bible, the Beginner's Bible. And uh, we're going to learn about an angry king. So um, I want you to think about and listen for the two Catholic faith words, which are Mary, with a capital M, and Holy Family. So let's begin. This is from the book of Matthew, chapter 2, and it's called an angry king. Ooh, he looks mad. So this is after Jesus' birthday. This is this happens like after Jesus has been um, in Bethlehem for a couple weeks. When the wise men did not return. Now remember, Jesus got visited by three wise men who were kings, and they brought him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But King Herod wanted them to come back and report to him. But in a dream, the angel said, oh, don't do it because... Herod's going to try and kill baby Jesus. Well, when Herod found out that the wise men were not coming back to report to him, he was very angry. He yelled at his soldiers, go and find the boy. I'm going to be the only king of the Jews. But God's angel warned Joseph in a dream, and he said, oh, no, don't, don't stay there. You've got to run to Egypt. You've got to flee to Egypt. Don't return. Stay in Egypt until I tell you the coast is clear. So that night, Mary and Joseph took the boy, baby Jesus, and, and fled to Egypt to safety. Now, they had to stay there for a couple years. And then years later, God's angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Oh, my goodness, guess what? The coast is clear. You can go back and live in Nazareth which is the town that Jesus grew up in. Now, some of you are growing up in Portage, some in Kalamazoo, some in Vicksburg, Matawan, Schoolcraft, um, and that would be your hometown. So let's talk about Nazareth. What do you suppose it was like growing up in Nazareth? Now remember, this is in the Middle East and there's no snow there. I don't think Jesus had a lot of water. I think he had sand and rocks and palm trees. So. He's not going to be playing outside in the snow. He's going to be playing outside with rocks and sand. So it looks different. The food he would eat would be different. I don't think he even had a pet cat or dog. I mean, he might have, but typically that kind of animal wasn't uh, found in Nazareth. So now here comes a really silly question. At least I think it's silly, but we'll see what you kids think. Did Jesus have to obey his parents? Clayton, what do you think? Yeah, he had to obey his parents. Penelope and Silas, do you agree with, with Clayton? Yes, Jesus had to obey Mary and Joseph. All right, let's begin with the Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Nice and big. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. You know what? Thank you, God, for our families. How good and how pleasant it is when brothers dwell together as one. And that comes from Psalms 133. And what that psalm is talking about is, isn't it nice when we can live together and get along or at least live close to each other? I know my grandchildren and my children all live far away. So if I want to see them, I have to FaceTime or call or send them a card or something. So let's continue with the lesson. How can families show love? Well, God the Father loves all families, and we're going to meet three different families. We're going to meet Tyler's family, Lainey's family, and David's family. So let's take a look at Tyler and his family. Tyler doesn't look real happy. Let's hear what they have to say. Tyler's dad moved away, and Tyler is sad, but he has an uncle to talk to, and that makes Tyler feel a little better. Now, let's look at Lainey's family. I don't really see a mom there. And it looks like Lainey and her dad are on a computer. Let's read this email from your grandma, says dad to Lainey. Lainey 
and grandma in the email says she's coming to visit soon. Let's look at David's family. Okay, David looks like he's got a mom and a dad and some siblings and a dog. There's David and mom and pop on a picnic in the park. Fetch the tennis ball, Rocky, David says. Rocky the dog chases after the ball with a happy bark. So let's think about our families. Some of us may have a blended family where we have stepbrothers and sisters, excuse me. Some of us may split our time between mom and dad because they're divorced. Some of our families have a mom and dad, or we might have an extended family. We see our grandma and grandpa or aunts and uncles a lot. Everybody's family's different, and that's okay. Let's talk about Jesus' family. Long ago, Jesus was born into a family. Jesus lived with Mary, his mother, and his foster father, Joseph. They lived in a town called Nazareth. Mary and Joseph and Jesus together are called the Holy Family because this is Jesus' human family. Jesus is like you in almost every way. Jesus shows you how to live. He teaches you about God's love. Now we're going to talk about a day in Nazareth. All families can share God's love. When Jesus was your age, he showed God's love in his family. He obeyed his family. He became wise and good. Jesus grew strong. God was pleased with him, and so were his parents. So that's something you kids can do. You can grow strong and wise and obey your parents, and that will please God. So this is what could have happened in, when Jesus was young. Because Jesus and his family were Jewish, they would begin each day with a prayer. Mary bakes bread for breakfast. Joseph makes a chair for his neighbors. They spend time together as a family. Now, let's go back to these and underline some of the things that you might do with your family. All right. Do you begin your prayer with your day with prayer? I do. Does your mom bake bread for breakfast? Not in my family. Does, does anyone in my family make a chair? Nope. Do I spend time with my family? Yes, I would be underlining that one. Okay, so Jesus grew up in a human family. He and his family probably did many of the same things together that you and your family do. Like you do chores together, you travel together, you celebrate the holidays together. And there's some pictures of what you might do. Okay, so that is the end of the lesson. Let's end with a little bit of a prayer. So bow your head, quiet your head, open your heart. Today we learned about the Holy Family, Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, and they will help us to act with love in our families. Thank you, Mary, for being the mother of Jesus. Thank you, Joseph, for taking care of Jesus. And thank you, Jesus, for loving your family and for loving my family. Help us to live with great love. Amen. All right. Have a great week. Stay warm. And if we get a snow day, have fun with it. All right. Take care.